John Ehlers' family's been farming this land near Bigelow, Minnesota since the 1950s. And rock-solid tractors made in America by Case have been their choice from the beginning. My parents moved here in 1956, uh, so I was two years old at that time, and I've been here ever since. And my dad, when he moved from South Dakota down here, he uh, bought an SC Case, and ever since that, it's been all Case. Check out this flambeau red and desert sand beauty that's part of John's collection. It's a 1967 Case 930 LP Comfort King Wheatland. It's in near perfect original condition, which makes it one of the most desirable cases in the country. I guess maybe what it makes, makes it most rare is that it's uh, still all original with uh, like 1,080 uh, actual hours. I think a lot of people have a hard time believing it, that it has not been restored until they really look close at it and then they can understand that it hasn't been. Most people uh, are still at awe that it is, once they realize that it has not been restored, that it's all original. It's almost perfect the way it is. I wouldn't want to do anything to it. I mean, it would be, to me, the nice original tractor that are really the nice ones, so why do anything to it? The Case 930 LP was rated 85 and a half horsepower at 1800 RPMs from a 377 cubic inch six cylinder engine. The LP gas option cost farmers an additional $390 back in the day. It's an LP gas tractor and, and basically uh, they were very popular in the south, in the southwest or in the southern states because at that time back in this when these tractors were being produced. Uh, LP was uh, quite reasonable to purchase, out in that part of the country anyway. It would be used for a tillage out in the wheat country because it had no three-point hitch or anything, basically just a draw bar and hydraulics. There's no PTO on the tractor. So basically, uh, you know, pulling a chisel plow or a field cultivator or a disc out in the, out in the big prairie lands. It handles actually very nice. It, uh, the hand clutch is a super smooth clutch. I mean, it's, uh, you can just ease into whatever you want to pull. It's just kind of a typical case tractor built in the 60s, in the 60s there, that, uh, and it, uh, it's a nice tractor. John, his wife, and two sons specialize in collecting low-hour original models like the 930. The reason John likes them unrestored is because he appreciates the efforts of the previous owners to keep them looking and running nice. And he remembers how hard his dad worked to keep all of their farm tractors looking like new. However, finding case tractors that are in good shape and haven't been restored is no easy task. It's very hard and it's getting harder all the time. I mean, as age goes by, you know, this tractor is well over 40 years old. So it's, you know, it's, it's just very, very hard to find those kind of tractors. You know, I've gotten them out of uh, Canada and the Western States. Uh, I've got a pretty nice one out of Vermont one time. So I've been all over the country trying to find these tractors. I bought some not such nice tractors also, but I do really prefer and like the nice original ones. I'm always waiting for them calls to come, you know, and hopefully they do, but it's not very often that they do. John started collecting tractors at an early age. Believe it or not, his first purchase came when he was only five years old. I was at an auction over by Round Lake, Minnesota, and there was a little two-row case uh, corn planter. And uh, I can kind of remember tugging at my dad and saying, hey, we should buy that. And he said, if you want it, you need to buy it. So I did actually, uh, at five years old, I actually uh, bought this two-row corn planter for five dollars, actually, is what it was, it was. And I still do have it, it's, set, and it's still in a shed today. From those humble beginnings, his collection has grown to right around 100 tractors, and John doesn't plan on stopping anytime soon. Yes, I got classic tractor fever. It's kind of like a disease, I just really can't leave tractors alone. Thank you for catching Classic Tractor Fever. If you can't get enough case, be sure to check out these other stories. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button to keep more Classic Tractor Fever rolling.